everybody, welcome back to E-Cubed. Today's video is brought to you by Patreon. I'll talk about that later. Now, today's expression is great. I lost my bearings. To lose one's bearings. Okay, so to lose something, I lost something, that's easy. I lost my watch. Uh, don't lose your cell phone. Did you ever lose a cell phone? Ooh, that would be terrible. Did you ever lose a wallet? Not good. So, to lose your bearings, or lost your bearings. Bearings, what are bearings? Well, bearings sometimes refers to little tiny steel balls that you find in a machine. That's one definition. But there's another definition of bearings, which basically means direction. So you can imagine a captain of a ship, and when he makes a turn, turn 90 degrees, bearing north. Our direction is bearing north, 90 degrees, whatever, I don't know. But bearing, meaning the direction, turn the direction, turn to the direction north, 90 degrees, that's the idea. Also, when we say, I've lost my bearings, it could mean I'm very confused. I don't know what to do. I lost my direction. Do you understand? This is a great expression, and it happens. Now, sometimes for me, actually today, I was hiking, and I was looking at a direction, and I felt that this direction was north. That the feeling was this is north. But then I checked a compass that shows you north and south. Oh, no, no, no. It was actually northeast. I mean, it was like 45 degrees off, so I was really confused. But this is strange, so for a while, when I was hiking, I lost my bearings. I lost my sense of direction. Which way is north? Uh-oh. If you are hiking and you lose your bearings, you could get lost, and that could be dangerous, especially in the desert. So that's why I use a compass, too. Yeah, so you don't want to lose your bearings when you're driving or when you're hiking in the woods, something like that. And here's a dialogue to show you another usage. So, did you talk to Mike? Huh? About what? About the price of the apartment. You said you would. Not now, honey. You're making me lose my bearings. I have to concentrate on the road. Don't talk to people when they're driving. That's, da that's me, anyway. When I'm driving, I gotta concentrate. I don't want any accidents. You know, if it's an open area, no cars, no problem. But if it's a busy city street, or if you're looking for directions, or if there's stoplights, or cars are speeding by, don't talk to me, don't. You're gonna confuse me. And if I'm confused, I'll lose my bearings. I'll get nervous. I, I won't know what, what I should concentrate on. Let me focus. To lose your bearings, to lose your sense of direction, north, south, east, west, but also to lose your focus, to lose your concentration. Does that make sense? You know, one of the reasons why I moved to this new apartment, although it's smaller, um, is because of the sound. There was always cars and sirens and motorcycles. It was really loud where I used to live. And I thought that some of the students, some people might like it, but many of you would prefer better audio quality. So I thought, yeah, I need to move to the country so that my students don't lose their bearing when they're watching my expression. <laughs> All right, check out the dialogue three more times, practice with a partner, and then let me tell you about Patreon. So, did you talk to Mike? Huh? About what? About the price of the apartment. You said you would. Not now, honey. You're making me lose my bearings. I have to concentrate on the road. So, did you talk to Mike? Huh? About what? 
about the price of the apartment. You said you would. Not now, honey. You're making me lose my bearings. I have to concentrate on the road. So, did you talk to Mike? Huh? About what? About the price of the apartment. You said you would. Not now, honey. You're making me lose my bearings. I have to concentrate on the road. Patreon.com slash Coach Shane. This is the place where you can invest in your education if you like the education that I provide you. There's lots of great teachers, I know, great sites, and there's lots of places to invest in your education. But if you're watching my pot or listening to my podcast and watching my videos and you want to help, you want to have some responsibility, you want to have some ownership, then consider becoming my patron. Consider investing into uh, what I do. All it takes is one dollar a month. Just one dollar. That's it. That's like three and a half cents a day. And you know, uh, I try to do a lot. Uh, podcasts and videos. Uh, people ask me, when is Let's Master English coming out? Yes, don't worry. Let's Master English is coming out. Daily Dictation is coming back. Coach Shane's ESL is coming back. That's lots of things. Uh, it's a transitional phase right now. Uh, but we're getting there. We're also changing the website, doing so many things, and it requires uh, lots of time, lots of energy, lots of headaches, and lots of money. It does. Um, and you can help become part of that team. So if you want to become part of the Let's Master English team, the Let's Master English family, as an investor, as an owner, then please, once again, consider going to Patreon, patreon.com slash coaching, and Signing up for a dollar, a dollar a month, that's all it takes. Two dollars, four dollars, five, ten, twenty, thirty, whatever. Whatever you can help us out with, we greatly appreciate it. That's it. Don't worry, I'll be back. If you don't have any money, don't worry about it. I'll be back tomorrow. But in the future, if you get rich, think of me, please. <laughs> that's it. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.